of action, they need wars, they need bailouts, they need Supreme Court justice, well, they get that, and they don't give a damn who's in office, so vote or don't, but either way, no, it's not activism. We got a war in Iraq and a war in Afghanistan, young Americans getting down even younger children, breathe back home about it, you may be looking doing a stint in prison, Bradley Manning is doing a bid for just telling the truth. You think electing Democrats change any of that? Well, you know the first thing about it. This same bill brought you the bombing of Hiroshima, the bombing of Nagasaki, the invasion of Nicaragua, the invasion of Haiti, the bombing of Yugoslavia, the assassination of Patrice Lumumba, the yeah. Mexican-American War, the Korean War, Vietnam, the Bay of Pigs, the Trail of Tears, three strike laws, and 50-year senators who once active members of the Ku Klux Klan. Yeah. Robert Byrd explained his affiliation with that organization not on the basis they were racist, but that they were anti-communist. Well, I'm pretty goddamn anti-Klan, so I guess the feeling is mutual, you dead mother. Like death row inmates choose the means of execution we may have few choices here and there but no real freedom red state blue state this is a police state we don't live in a bourgeois democracy but under electoral fashion yeah. so this one here now is about uh, julian assange the next one can we give it up for julian assange we give it up for Ecuador, which is not a colony of England. Here we go. When you're an activist, when you see injustice not as a particular set of incidents or the markings of a particular bloody calendar, but indicative of the world you actually of the world it actually is, as a matter of science, when silence is not an option, but is bitter because it's bitter in your throat, it is daggers. When your consciousness leaves you no option but a life of protest. A life of resistance when you're black. They call that ingratitude or probable cause. Being the description for an extra legal police beating on American special interests when you're Latino, unlawful, possibly illegal, in violation of state legislation, fit for deportation, when they need to see, we need to see some documentation, an issue to be dealt with at state level, when Muslim, cold red, terrorist alert, random selection, a congressional investigation, a one-way trip to Guantanamo, and your children, your inevitable children, when well, they're not children, but tomorrow's collateral damage. But when you're white, when you're white, they call that treason. Julian Assange has rattled the bones in hidden closets of departments of state, departments of offense, of murderous governments that speak softly and never of war crimes, has offended the pundits and the presidents of the Western world alike, asking why, Julian, why, there are now calls for Assange's assassination, extradition, to be tried under American law, never mind his Australian citizenship, because when you're white, when you're white, they call that treason, exposing the family secrets, but who are they kidding, because news of Uyghur's war crimes come as no surprise to the people of Pakistan, Iraq, Afghanistan, Libya, Somalia, Somalia, Yemen, who understand quite clearly that the bombs of the first black president killed just as mercilessly as those of a well-connected Texan. They are well aware that a thoughtful Democrat can dip yeah. his hands just as deeply into their blood as can a minorous Republican, and they do not need WikiLeaks to expose us, and news of U.S. war crimes come as no great shock to the victims of America's own police state, which to this day in Angola prison men are worked like slaves, which now detains entire migrant families in internment camps, a state that pins down the faces of five-year-old black girls and carries them out in schools and shackles, whose ears must be protected because news of U.S. war crimes only ever seem to come as a surprise to Susie Homemaker and Joe the Plumber, people with no real stake in the system, people who have no share in the Pentagon, whose pocketbooks are daily being dirty bombed by the Fortune 500, people living off no better than the rest of us, many living in need and desperation, in desperate need of an explanation, but will blame anyone for their troubles, immigrants, activists, the wretched of the earth, anyone for the true source of their oppression, people who will place their face in a flag in an abstraction that cannot and will not feed them, and now join in the imperial media in the calling for the head of Julian Assange for telling them just a little bit of truth about the world they live in, because when you're white, when you're white, they call that treason. <laughs> Last poem, someone say talk about Skid Row, L.A. This poem I just like to do about L.A. Skid Row! Has nothing to do other than, like, uh, fuck the cops. So here we go. 